From humble beginnings in the East End of Glasgow, he discovered photography when he was aged 27 after borrowing a camera from a friend. Returning to full-time education at 28 and graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Photography with distinction, it wasn't long before he was working with top fashion glossies including GQ, Tatler, Vogue, Sunday Times Magazine, Telegraph, to name but a few. His list of sitters reads like a who's who in the world of art, cinema, music and design. His creativity is perpetually evolving, but always offers a delicacy and simple, honest voice, which is testament from his impressive client list, which includes Panasonic. They base their national TV advertising commercial for the Lumix camera system around his work and had him star in the TV and cinema adverts. With award-winning cinema and TV commercials, an honorary Doctor of Arts from Edinburgh Napier University and the release of a 250-page book featuring his portfolio collection, his creativity holds no bounds. He was the first photographer in the Scottish Gallery's 173-year history to host a solo exhibition this year, entitled Selected Works. Ladies and gentlemen, the recipient of the 2015 Olympus Penn Scottish Fashion Awards Hall of Fame is David Eustace. Okay, um, good evening. Um, it's very nice to be here. Um, it's also the most surreal thing we've ever done uh, in our life. And someone said, how did you end up working for who you did? And I said, it was really easy. You figure out who you want to work for. And then you go and say, I want to work for GQ. I want to work for Vogue. I want to work for L. So I went to see Vogue, GQ and L. I never went to Gardner's week Weekly. You know, you... you I think if, if, you were to, if we were to go back to painting, just mm. for a moment there. Yep. The, there's a lot of Scottish painting yep. that you're particularly drawn to. And I think well, it would yeah. be interesting, actually, to, you know, to put the, your work next to some of that work because there's a tonality mm. and a richness in colour in that work, which is also in your work. Well, and I yeah, think there's, yeah. a, there's this stillness. And I think when people are trying to understand photography, actually one of the hardest things is to actually bring stillness because it requires the photographer to be in total control well, uh, of uh, the situation. Well, for me, uh, things changed probably 10, 15 years ago with that. 2007, I can tell you exactly when it was, June 2007, uh, I discovered digital photography. And I realised in that trip I could work in colour because primarily before that, I ended up working in black and white not because I necessarily love black and white, but because I could have complete control over how an image was going to look from the moment I saw it to the moment I had a final print. I knew how that was going to look. I love shades. I love, you know, I love almost subtlety. And, and it, that can be subtlety in the slightest movement. It can be subtlety in a shape, a graphic shape. It can be subtlety in a light. I, I like simple things about it all. And I think the paintings that you know, moved me are probably a lot of the old Dutch masters. And I didn't know what Dutch masters were until, you know, 10, 15 years ago, really. Commissioning me. It's one of the things we all, those of us who work in photography, we're lucky we work in an industry where everybody's an expert. Everybody's got a camera now. Everybody can take photographs. And everybody thinks they're an expert. And that's what happens. But the reality of it is, what other profession, think of, think of soccer, think of football, you know, we've all got footballs, but how many of us would walk up to Lionel Messi and say, right, I'm going to take this penalty? Or how many of us would walk up to David Coulthard and go, I'm going to drive the car? <laughs> <laughs>